Hello, so today I'm going to be going over two questions on the PSAT. The first question is if 2x squared minus 2y squared is equal to 72 and x plus y is equal to 18, what is the value of x minus y? So first thing you can do is factor out factor out a 2 and um, when you factor out the 2 what you have left is x squared minus y squared close parenthesis is equal to 72 so then what you do is you pretty much know that this right here, this right here, is just a difference of squares. So that it would just mean 2 times x minus y times x plus y is equal to 72. So now what you can do, since you know what the value of, you know, x plus y is, they've given you this. So basically, you can just substitute 18 for x plus y because they've given you that x plus y has to be equal to 18. And if x plus y has to be equal to 18, that means you have 2, you have 2 times 18. multiplied by x minus y is equal to 72. So 8 times 2, or sorry, 18 times 2 is 36. So we have 36 times times x minus y is equal to 72. I'm just going to copy and paste this expression over to the another line. Paste. So now basically what you do so, whoops, I'm over here now, I'm over here now, and um, what I basically do is I have to divide by 36 on both sides. Obviously, you know, your 36 cancels out. Then you get your... Um, you get your x minus y. You get your x minus y. Your x minus y to be equal to... And we deserve a drum roll, you know. Um, it's going to be equal to... So it's going to be... 2. X minus Y is equal to 2. So we can mark number, letter A here. Let's do the second one. The second one says, 
If a is a constant and f of 2 plus f of 3 is equal to f of 5, what's the value of a? Well, what I would do is I would just plug in f of 2, f of 3, and f of 5, and then go from there. So you have f2 is equal to 2 times 2 squared plus a. Because remember, when you have a function, you are taking this here as x and plugging that in for x. So you have f of 2 is equal to, well this here is just 4, this thing just evaluates to, to 4, and then this just evaluates to 8. So we have 8 plus a, plus a. And then, what you're, now you're going to pretty much do the same thing. Plug in 3 here. So, f of 3 is equal to, what, that's going to be 3 squared, which is 9, times 2, which is 18a. 18 a. 18 a. And once again, I'm plugging in this 3, that 3, into, into the x value. And then f of 5. f of 5 is equal to, once again, so put this in the place of x, you get 5 squared, 25, times 2, which is 50. 50 plus a. Now basically what you can write, so you substitute f of 2, which... I'll do in this nice red color. F of 3, I'll do in this yellow. And then F of 5 for you, I'll do in this green. So basically, you're going to substitute F of 2, which we calculated for is this right over here. So it's this right over here. You're going to substitute for F of 2, 8 plus A, because that's what we calculated according to this thing right there. 8 plus a and then now we're going to put in the value of f, f plus 3 which is pretty much this thing um, so that's plus 18 plus a um, as, because as you can see, it's f of 2 plus f of 3 equals f of 5. So I'm just plugging in the value of f of 2, which we saw for with the, you know, by plugging in into the equation. So then that equals, that equals 50a. 50, uh, not 50a, 50 plus a. So then you basically get, um, you basically have to combine these terms and these terms. Uh, I'll circle the, the A and then box the 8 and 18 so you know that those are the two terms. So you basically get 2A because A plus A is 2A. So 2a plus, 2a plus 26 is equal to 50, 50 plus a. So now what you do is you subtract a on both sides. 
and subtract 26 on both sides. When you do that, your A here cancels, your 26 there cancels, and A equals, drum roll, your A is equal to 24. So, uh, C is the correct answer. And those are just some of the few questions that will come on the PSAT 8-9 math. Uh, I got these from the calculator section, actually. But um, the PSAT math will be primarily algebra, um, algebra based. So, yeah, I hope you found that as fun as I did. Bye. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more educational content.